All right, for the page transition, we're just going to jump right in. Uh, we're on Weebly.com. I'm already signed in. And we're going to be using one extra pixel tutorials. How to make jQuery, or how to use jQuery to make slick page transitions. Um, I'll have the link below. And of course, I like to use Weebly forums for extra information. I got a little bit of help on building this using that. So we're going to start out with going to the how to page on one extra pixel. If you scroll down, you see the uh, getting started, what you need, and we're just going to click this visit jQuery and download the latest version of jQuery. So you're going to need the jQuery page for this page transition to work. And you click the download button in order to download it. Make sure to, to see what the newest version is. So we're going to click the button. It'll pop up with a bunch of code. If you right click the code, you can save as and then I just made a little jQuery folder. I've already downloaded a version. So I'm just going to hit cancel. It only takes like half a second to download. And I'm going to go back to the original how-to page. Now on here you'll have your script to attach to, or to link your script to your page. So we're just going to copy that and go back over to our Weebly page and go into our settings, the search engine optimization. Then in the header code, I'm just going to make a break between this code and my old code. I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to have to change the the name of the file when I upload my new file. So I'm going to go into the design tab and the edit HTML CSS. On the left hand side I'm going to add new files. Let's see I need my jQuery file. I'm going to open up my jQuery file and there you have my JavaScript. Click it, click open, and it says uh, 1.8.3 JavaScript. So I'm going to click save and then go back into my settings. SEO and then change the name of my file. About 8.3. Now because this is Weebly, we have to make sure that our source is correct. So instead of this extra stuff that they put in the front, I'm gonna put files slash theme and then the name of the file, which is the uh, jQuery 1.8.3.javascript. All right, now going back over to the how-to page, you'll notice up at the top where it says body display none. The display none is kind of faux pas. We're going to copy that um, simply for the fact that you know, nobody's going to see anything when you have a display none. So I'm going to go into my edit HTML and I'm going to go into the tall header and on the body tag where it says style I added the display none. Now the reason why is because you don't want any of the information on your page to show up. Now I did want to have a background on my page when my page pulled up before it fades in. 
so I just used the background that was already in the files to give it the same background that it's supposed to have. Now we're going back over to the how-to page. And you'll notice that there is a whole bunch of different sections with script. Now all these different sections have the same script, they just keep building up over and over again, starting from the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and get the finalized script, which is right here. And you'll see the fade in and the fade out so that you know that your body display none will actually fade in. And I'm just going to copy the script. And we're going to go over to well, we're going to save this. And then of course we're going to go over to our settings again into the search engine optimization or SEO and we're going to go down a couple lines and we're going to paste our script. Now we're going to click save. Scroll down. See, and here's where it says in the HTML to make sure that you change the background so it's not a bright white background. Now you notice right here it says the ahref whatever page clash class transition that's what the javascript is actually looking for is the class of transition for when you transition out of a page i'll go back over to our weebly page we're going to publish it So I can show you what it looks like without the transition out. So the transition is very nice and smooth coming in, but when clicking out of a page, it just goes blank. We don't want it to do that. We want it to actually have a smooth transition. So I'm going to view the page source, and we're going to look for our menu items in the page in the page source. Because the Weebly doesn't allow us to edit the code for our menu items. So I'm going to have to copy and paste it. Here you have the div tag with the ID of nav wrap and the ID of container. So we're going to take this unordered list with the UL tag and we're going to copy it. I'm going to go back over to our Weebly editor and into our design tab edit HTML CSS and then we're going to find where our menu is here it is and you can tell because you have the nav wrap and container so here's where it says menu. This is the part that Weebly doesn't allow you to change. So instead of changing it, we're just going to delete it and add our own HTML. Now here you'll notice where it says ID equals active. Now we can't have an active ID because that causes issue with the JavaScript it doesn't realize that it's supposed to fade out so we're going to go to a different page on our website and then view page source and find the idea of the one that was active I believe it was the about us site so we're going to find the ID for about us which is this ID right up here
that PG one two zero seven uh, million numbers. Now we're going to copy it and go back over to our Weebly editor, and where it says active, we're actually going to paste the old ID. So now we're not going to have an active marker showing what page we're on, which is fine for small sites and most big sites as long as you have breadcrumbs. Now we need to put in our new class, which is transition, so that we can transition out. So what you do is you type class equals transition in quotes and I believe I put it in the wrong spot Let's see okay it's supposed to go with the href so the the a div tag or the a tag so where it says a href slash index right behind that we're going to paste our code the transition code class transition and we're going to do that with all the rest of our links in our menu now this is going to be one of the last things that you're going to want to do on your website before publishing it so that it'll be easy to edit so we're going to hit publish. John Smith's example website. And there's our smooth fade in. And a smooth fade out to another smooth fade in. And that's how to add page transitions to your Weebly website. So please check me out. Um, subscribe to my page if you like to build Weebly websites click the subscribe button or you can just uh, go to average student design as a user I want more ideas so I can put more stuff on our sites uh, visit Weebly forums if you need any help and visit me at averagestudentdesigns.com